geography. Now, this is not jokes, it's coming close to home. I'm going to share three important stories that make digital literacy very close to my heart. That's the first story. This is real life. This just happened. And the woman was freaking out, breaking down in tears. And then they called, you know, telling me this. I said, the first thing she needs to do is to calm down. Okay. She's going to a Christian school, very big school, expensive. You know how it is now. High browse area, the whole Elite thing. Um, so you, you will judge for yourself. Okay. The second one is something that happened in my own home. Okay. Um, my daughter has her own um, laptop. So the, the children, of course, they do this blended learning where they have assignments, they have to go do research. Now, on a certain day, she said, um, mom, I don't know why I keep seeing naked girls on my screen. So I said, okay, let's see, because I've done all the pop-up blockers. I still do not know. Of course, she's not going to crazy sites. She's just browsing normal kid stuff, how many mountains are, whatever. You know, those simple assignments they give children. You know what was happening? The camera was not on, but... I, whenever I sit down, I sat down, I started doing that research. Those pop-ups did not come up. I told our son, because he's mature in look, I said, come sit down and do the same thing. No pop-ups. When my younger daughter sits down, those crazy pop-ups start to happen. You know what I did? I took the cello tape and I taped over the camera and that stopped. So what is happening? There is AI, even when your camera is turned off, there is AI reading the futures. Okay, they can tell if it's an adult, they can tell if it is a young person. So if you have forward facing devices and your children go on the internet, you've got to be careful. This is my own real life experience. I'm not, I'm not saying stories from, from, um, from the moon. The next one again has to do with my relative again, the one who told me that story. <laughs> And this one happened in our own home. Guess what? Her house help apparently was using her phone to do sexting. Okay, so she was snapping herself naked. And every time the children would wake up, of course, at night, she was doing all her business. So when they wake up, they would notice the phone had gone down. And um, on this very certain day where God decided to, you know, expose what was going on, they had have, they have changed the password severally so that she doesn't use their phone, but she keeps getting hold of their phone. So they keep, they had to press her. How do you get into our phone? And then she said, no, I used facial recognition. Now the children do not have social media handle. This young lady has social media handle and she used facial recognition. You know, you know, there's how you can do facial recognition on your smartphone. And then there's how you can still do your thumbprint. Your, so this girl got in with facial record so no matter how many times they changed the password it wasn't making sense guess what she was doing all those normal crazy dancing with very very scanty tops so they were seeing unfortunately the phone died and that was what exposed her when they charged the phone that is when they saw that this way had you know documents her things they were, the children were not able to see they are smart kids but they didn't see because she was always on social media and she found a way of hiding it. Okay, so that will make us settle in and listen because in between, because I'm a teacher, thank God for energy, I'm talking fast now. <laughs> so in between, because I'm a teacher, I'm going to ask you some things and then you will go inside and you're going to do some, you know, we're going to do a lot of reflecting. So I, I think I can share my screen. Is it enabled for me? Yes, you can. Okay, okay. So let's see what we have here. Because there are quite a number of things, by the grace of God Almighty, I will do my very best to stick to time because I always like to, but you know, there's so much to talk about and I know you all have questions. So let's see, um, this is digital uh, literacy. Okay, so that's normal. At the end of this class, what are we supposed to learn? I want to teach us um, about current statistics. What is the start saying? I didn't want to bother us with too many numbers. So I just did a wrap up so it won't take so long. Online harm, I will explain to you all the things that are going on now that you probably are not aware about, you know, of because I'm a teacher. There are so many things going on. Um, E-safety, smart tips, things that you can do, tools for you as a parent, then toolbox for your kids. They're in collaboration. What can we do together? So that is that. So what is the start saying? Overall, I didn't want to bog us with too many numbers. More children, more homes. I'm sure if every one of us, our children probably have devices. Okay, 
we have smart devices, kids have theirs, kids have their own room. We have Wi-Fi in the houses going on right now. Um, and after COVID, there was so much to do with blended learning. So most children got online, okay? Now, over 90% of 10 to 15 year olds go online every day. Good. Now, so more than 70% of five to 15, they all play, sorry about that, they all play games, you know, online, they all play online games. So of course, blended learning is the future, right? Online is the future. You can't take the children, that's their age. This is where they are. It's not where we were a couple of years ago. So this is where they are. And then we also have to come up to speed with what is happening. Um, online shopping goes on. Most of us have bought from Jumia, we've bought from Amazon, and we keep, you know, we also do business there. Uh, services, conferences like this one, hooray, internet. We, I, you, can do, you can deliver your sessions all over the world. So the internet is not a bad thing, right? Artificial intelligence, that's a new word now. And then there's a lot of um, data, web, whatever. So many, everybody, anybody that is in tech will tell you that there's so much going on. And then there's 5G now in Nigeria. What does that hold for us? You know, so you need to be ahead when it comes to technology. And I'll say stuff that will shock you. Um, there is lots of academic development. Okay, you can study from wherever. So definitely, technology is useful. Amen. Everybody. Yes, we all say that. Okay. So we are here. I'm going to talk about um, online safeguarding. What is? These are the key terms I want us to know as we progress. So let's quickly speed through. Some of us are familiar with this. So let's go to the chat quickly. If you're familiar with at least uh, four over five, let me see. Let's, let's go to the chat. Yes, four over five. Three out of five, I know three out of five, I know four over five. Thumbs up, you know, five out of five. Sorry, so the chat from to go Just sorry to cut you. So let's go to the chat. Yeah, you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been able yes, to I can see hear you. beyond the first slide. Oh, oh my goodness. Side, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know what happened. Sorry, I didn't go to power. Oh my goodness. This always happens in my class. Don't mind me. I have <laughs> yeah, we'll see it now. Yes. So I was like, I'm looking for the four. Like, what's the four? Oh, okay. I have lots of gray hairs. I'm older than my age. They always say that. Forgive me. So this is what you missed. Okay, I think that's about it. Yeah, this is what we missed, right? Or is it? Did you miss this? So all this. Um, hopefully, please only share, please send this slide to everybody. It might come in handy for um, personal use. Okay, so we can all see this, right? So let's go to chat now. What, what terms are you familiar with? This is where we are, key terminologies. Are you familiar with online safety, online safeguarding? Those two are two different terms, although they're similar. So which one are you familiar with before this class? Three over five, four over five. I'm going to the chat now. Let's make it fast. You know me, I like talk talk. So if you if you respond quickly, I, I would I won't do plenty talk talk. Okay, great. So so far I have won five over five. Thank you so much, Tope. Okay, four over five. Thank you. I didn't care, Sefi. Good one. Yes, where are the rest? How many are we in this class? It's not a thing of shame. Oh, let's let let's come out. We're, we're talking about community and collaboration here. Five five. Great job. So. Those are five, five. You should be able to make healthy contribution because I'm a teacher, I don't know it all. So you make healthy contributions. One over five, great. That's why we are here. We, we all came to school to learn. Okay, so uh, I give you one more minute. Oh my goodness. Mommy, welcome to the club. You don't know anything at all. We are here for you. Good, I like it. So it means I have some work to do. I will slow down a bit. Feel free to ask me a question and I will answer as much as I can remember. So, good, thank you. It shows that you're a teacher, Miss Blessing, I remember. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Online safety and safeguarding. When you hear those terms, it has to do with protection. Now, for on-site children, what we do in school is to say we have safety for on-site children and we have safeguarding. Of course, we are familiar with this, the, the, the terrible stories that happened recently. I don't want to mention the name names of the schools, but we know the story, right? So the question is where were the adults? That's usually the question, and which is a very reasonable question. So again, the other question will be where were the parents, right? Because most of what your children manifest in public place is what they came with, kind of. So we have a lot of responsibility as moms. We have a lot. You have a, a lot as a mom because you have children that are 
friends with your kids. So that makes community very strong. That's why I put community and collaboration. I put the community because the friends of your kids, you need to be friends with their parents. You need to know what is happening in their homes. No offense, your children's business are fully your business. There's no privacy in this matter. I like to get to know who my children's cho friends are. And I also like to pry who their parents are if possible. Okay, so when I go for PTA, I'm not just only going for my kid, kid kids, I'm just also going there to nose around and see whose parent is what. No offense again, because these things have, you know, they have genesis where they're coming from. The nonsense that we see outside have genesis. Digital literacy, how much knowledge do I, do I have about my smartphone? Okay, they always make this very nasty joke I don't like, that the smartphone has become smarter than most adults, which sadly looks like it's true. So I don't like that joke. That means I, if I'm gonna hand devices to my children, I have to be double smarter than my kids. That's what it means. So whatever they are doing is either I'm checking, I am nosing around, I am following up. So it's a huge responsibility. It's not about competition. It's not about buying iPhone or I whatever for your children. It's a, it's a huge responsibility, okay? So if you are not going to be hands-on, take away the devices. That's, that's my own take anyway, but that's me. How much knowledge do you know? Footprint, the internet never forgets. The internet never forgives. Whatever you put out there is gonna come back. Now, secretly, or I should like say an open secret, let me tell you. If you have been on Facebook long enough, maybe close to around 10 years now, eight years, go back to your old post and start to delete stuff that you know are not serving you or will not serve you sometime in future. Because of course, 10 years ago, I was a lot younger than this and I was probably rash with my words. So what would you do? Go back through most of um, the activities that you have, you, you know, you've, you've done in, 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 in time past and do what? Start deleting. So because the internet does not forgive. We see sometimes when um, those videos you kind of leak out and you're wondering, where did people get it? And guess what? People download and save it for your future. Unfortunately, we call them enemies, but, but you put, you gave it, you know, like you kind of handed it over to them. And that prayer, I like that Yoruba prayer. They say, Oluwa um, Ashiri. I really love that, the God that covers secrets and God will continue to cover secrets because in these things, we never can be too careful. Digital citizenship. Now, if you go to Instagram and you look at families arising, the first thing that comes to your mind is this is a brand. Now, your name on the web is a brand. If you're not intentional about it, you're selling a wrong reputation. You're selling a wrong self. Let me put it like that. So you're intentional about items that are attached to your name. You're intentional about things to click. Now, this is for you as an adult, but I will talk, talk about the children much later. You're intentional about um, the, 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 the comments that you make, the posts that you, because if you look at it, um, we're going to talk about it much later, but let me just, in case we don't have enough time. Your, your ads are streamlined to your taste. They are streamlined to things that you like to watch. The same thing, okay? The same thing with, your um what's it called um when yeah your ads when, when whenever you're browsing and they, they give give you this uh, pop-ups or buy 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 it, it, it's just tailoring they, they call that targeted advertising okay so you, we are careful that's this digital citizenship you are a global citizen whether you like it or not you're here on zoom your footprints are being left. You are a citizen. Somebody can find you easily. They can find what you do. They can say, they can kind of profile you. That's the word they use. They can profile you. Okay, so you're careful what you put out there and community and collaboration. I will not stress much on that. So let, let's move on. Online harm. This is the main gist. Online relationships. A lot of children have been put, a lot of um, kids have been put on risk because somebody starts to tell them they love them. It happens a lot. Guess what? All those games the children are playing, some of them have access to private chatting. When they go online, let me give you a quick story. A friend of mine, the son called me and I was shocked because of course your, your, your children's, your friend's kids don't usually call you. So he called and said, oh, auntie, good afternoon. Please, I do need, I, I do need um, uh, uh, um, airtime. I want you to send it like now. I'm like, is everything okay with your mom? 
and he and and he said yes everything is fine now that's a red flag i don't i don't give gifts or money to my children's uh, friends or i don't do that i have to go through their mom or their parents have got to be aware it's not his birthday what is happening i put a phone call through to my friend and i said ah, your son is asking me for airtime is everything okay and she said airtime for what he wants to buy he wants to top up for his game please don't ignore him so she she of course as a mom she she jumped into that and manage the situation that means your the games are addictive the games can make the children start to call people that you know that i'm just telling you personal stories it, it doesn't mean your children are um enemies or they are wrong that mm -mm, is the influence that we're seeing we're talking about fake profiles we're talking about online fraud me and you can fall prey to these things i'm sure if somebody will be totally honest i'm sure if you go to the to the chat you will tell me that somebody have scammed you before and said oh auntie please i quickly i need three thousand naira only for you to find out that it was a fake profile or the person's phone has been hijacked or something it happened recently and um, a mutual friend sent thirty thousand naira to a friend not knowing that the phone had been you know taken so is the sim card the whatsapp so that, that that thief went through all the whatsapp I was able to, from the tone of conversation, was able to dictate this must be a, a good prey. So I can quickly send chat like it's still my friend because of the tone of conversation. Fake profiles, very real, online harm, online bullying. We're not, we're not afraid to cyber bullying. Children are always victims, okay? Somebody will tell them they're too fat. Your nose is too big. If we don't have that constant affirmation, then we have problems coming up, all right? Fake news. Um, come and save the, the, there was one that was very popular. Come and save the, the tree climbing um, is, is like octopus. Like come and save the, the wild octopus. Excuse me, where do we find octopus? We find octopus in the sea. So what, what about, what, what are you talking about? So many teenagers fell for that spoof. It was real, it was online. You can go online and check it. I think it has to do with orangutans or, or I, I can't remember what, what animal they used then. It was a real big deal. So there's targeted advertising, I've spoken about that. There's child sexual exploitation and online grooming. Ladies, this is real stuff, okay? Now, if they're able to get into, I told you about my, cam my daughter's camera not being on, but they were able to, that is online grooming. They will start with desensitization, like it's normal to see naked people. It's abnormal to walk naked. It's abnormal. It, it just shows the world has gone to depravity, right? We know. Okay, but our children are growing. They're still in that developmental stage where you're telling them this person is naked and shouldn't be naked. They are selling their wares. Now they will start with online grooming. Online grooming is a word we use when catfishers. Catfishers are those adults that pose as young people in order to draw them in and they will pose like a young boyfriend. Okay, whereas it's just one papa there behind the screen that is looking for prey. We hear about girls being moved in Europe right now. It's a big problem. They are being moved from place to place. And it's a huge network. It's huge. It's massive. Even the big boys, the politicians are in these things. So your job is to protect your own children. You know what I'm talking about. When it comes, you know, I was doing a, 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 um, some form of research and I realized it's true. In it's child pornography. You see children that are barely, barely developed in breasts. You see adults finicking them. It's real. It's real. I was doing something on it and I, and, and I was shocked. I was spooked. I said, I said whenever I, I, I talk to young people, I say, every time you click on pornography sites, you are giving them more views and you're giving them more money. They keep getting more traffic. And more traffic means more money. You know how this thing goes for those of us that are, that are online. That is exactly what we're confronting. So we are not fighting for only your children. You're fighting for your community. If your child, because your child is going to mix up, if your child can just get it right, then your child's friends will learn from your child. And then it goes on and on. So we're saving a whole net of children from getting exploited. So that's the big vision. I don't want to just think about your own children, okay? I'm not taking this course because of my own children. I'm taking it because there are children out there we need to save. You need to be vigilant. Eyes vigilant is the word okay um sexting and live streaming the same way we're streaming now um you, you can see that rape victims it, it, it happened in india they are being raped and it's going on live and you're wondering what the heck is going on 
is going on life. What is sexting? You're sending sexual messages, you're sending pictures, okay? You see people sending penises and sending, you know, let me see your underwear, let me see your vagina. And these children are having sex over the phone, okay? So they have their own slangs. I don't even know their slangs. If there was one that happened in, um, in the school environment and the children were telling me, and I had to go online or ask a colleague, I don't understand, what does he mean? Because I was, there are so many slangs they keep coming up with. So every time you crack one, they come up with another one. Every time you crack one, and then sometimes if their kids, um, uh, uh, children of pastors and all that, they come up with, um, give me, good to give. And you don't know what they are giving. Do you understand? And then one said, give me head. And I was confused. I was like, what does this mean? The kids were reporting to me what the other school had been saying. Okay, the other school kids were really exposed. And every time you go out, you're afraid because the work always exchange numbers. They, will, they are having phones. So you can't say, don't do WhatsApp. I'm not their parent. I'm just a teacher. I can only guard my own kids, right? But I need to educate the children, right? Same as you, same as all of us here, okay? So sexting is real. Live streaming of nonsense is happening. Data mining, information. Your children have got to know personal information doesn't go out. Um, there's something called uh, there's, there's, there are codes like with my kids we do some kind of code too much information you don't give too much information you don't give too much information you don't do that your your what, what your parents do for a living who is asking how much money they've got who is asking how what is their property net value and all that you know in this um maybe because of this environment okay there's stuff that we hear and I freak out and you see the children of obviously tell you to your face if your phone breaks I'm gonna get you another one so as a teacher, I'm fighting that, right? But how long? How long? Because we have parents that are not aware of what is going on. Let me shock you. There's something called dark web. Dark web is not your normal internet, okay? You can go online and check about, you know, check and do your research. This one freaked me out. Where do the children get hackers to, you know, to um, do their dirty deal? Dark web. Where do they get guns? Dark web. Where did they get to do online sales of cocaine and drugs and hook up and drop off and nobody knows what happened? And no thanks to Snapchat as well, but it's not on that dark web. Dark web is where they do dark stuff. Like nobody can trace anybody. There is no tracing. As in, you, they can't be monitored. That is the deep dark web. It is real. It is happening. And guess what? There are apps that you can use to hide apps. Now, your children's phones might have things that look like games, but they're really not games. Now, this one will also shock us. It looks like a harmless game, but inside the game, they have apps. So it's not like a game, it's like a hide app. You can go to um, Google app, you can check and just click on hide app. It's not VPN, it has nothing to do with VPN. VPN is you're doing random stuff because at the end of the day, I will tell you the advantage that you, you probably will need that, okay? to protect your children, depending on what they're browsing, you, you might need that to protect them. But dark web is total, and then hiding apps that hide um, the secret stuff that they don't want you to see. So you might be looking at their phones, but they, are, they have things that they don't want you to see. It's like having a secure folder, but it's not a secure folder. It's like looking plain, harmless. You know, they used to say something, if you want to hide something, put it in, the, in the plain sight. And people will always pass there, they don't know that it's something harmful, you know? Then there's something called smishing. Smishing is pre pretending um, like you, you see, uh, um, some adults pretend that it's a phone company calling the children, you know, so that, that, that happens a lot. I had one experience when I was in South Africa and the pastor's kid was um, being contacted by an adult and the adult was seemingly telling, and this was their, their school driver. And, you know, I don't know how he got hold of her phone. So we, we need to be vigilant for those of us that have um, kids that are still on site with school bus drivers and your personal chauffeurs. You also need to know what is going on. And then this bus driver started molesting the child. Like, you know, to them it's toasting, but you can't be, you can't be, you can't be chancing or chiking a 13, 12 year old because she has bodied breasts and she's big. That is pedophilia. Okay, so smishing, um, they can pose as a reputable company. They can chat you up. They can say they're from the bank. And it happens to adults too. They'll tell you to start rattling your details so that they can check whatever they're checking. That's not true. They are just going to steal your details. If you have problem with the bank, you go to the bank yourself. Impersonation happens. They clone, they clone people's um, identity, you know, to do all sorts. We see that happen. And it can be a form of bullying as well. Um, number spoofing. I, I take a number that looks like Amazon. I call you with that number. 
and I start to tell you that you have a package. So it's still similar to smishing, but smishing is SMS, right? Um, fake tech supports. They will say, oh, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to uh, give you tech support and, and all that. Uh, you downloaded stuff. It's not true. It happens a lot. They call you randomly. And before you know it, the bank will start to deduct, deduct money. <laughs> I'm sure some of us are familiar with that. Um, next is um, SIM hijacking. When your phone gets lost, somebody steals your SIM card and they do all sorts with the SIM card. So that one is um, online harm as well. Inappropriate content, the pornography that we see, the illicit nonsense games that we have. I repeated bullying, so cyberbullying. Loneliness, eventually, when your children, you know, over time, children that have their devices stuck will always say, I'm bored, I'm lonely. So whenever my child comes and say, oh, I'm bored, I said, nice to meet you, my name is Ifoma, I'm not bored. So we also, that's where we have to start teaching our children, it's okay to do without devices. You can do without devices. They are addictive and it can be really crazy, okay? So let's get into this. What do we need to know now? Now that we have learned all these things, um, it's time for us to teach our children. Let me check my time. I hope I'm not talking too much. Please let me know. <laughs> okay, so it's time to teach your children, right? Um, age, initially we used to say, oh, the children are too young, they won't understand. Your children started pressing phone when they started crawling and they can play games. It means they are faster in development. So you have to start saying, talking about all these things. Start up with it, okay? Things you're having concern, um, you, you have concern about. Talk to them. Don't shield anything. Don't shield anything. Social media, I don't know, um, depending on your age range. My, my child is a teenager, the oldest one. No social media. I don't see what he's doing there. What is he doing on Facebook? What is he doing on Instagram? What does he need them for? Nothing. So it depends on you. If your child is on social media, it means you have to follow. If your child has WhatsApp, they can block you. They can do selective content blocking, in case you don't know. They might not block you entirely. They'll just block what they want you to see. Uh, what they don't want you to see, their friends are seeing it. So um, if your children have that, you have to be on your toes, as I said. Uh, posting, keeping comments, there are some rules. Never update any, um, upload any photos. Never download photos from the internet. Never upload. Don't share, don't share new um, photos and videos from, from other children. You know? So those are simple things you need to start telling your children from now. Check safety set settings. Many of us don't check sa um, safety settings. Now, every device, every device have, um, has this setting, including your, 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 your laptop. Use your safety settings. Go there, patiently read through. And um, if, you, if, if it's a child's phone, they always say kids. You know, there's a place where you, you, you say it's for kids, and then that's that. And you keep it like that. And then it's your password, it's your email. Your, the emails your children use, Google email, Google family email. So whatever comes in, you're seeing it. And then they can't download stuff without, so you, you can have Google kids. There are so many information that is out there. We may not exhaust everything, all right? Antiviruses help, uh, um, set your rated 18. YouTube kids, I still do not trust so much, but I do not trust so much. So what I do is if we have to watch movies, I download, I watch first. If it has naked scenes, I delete. So I don't even bother letting the family watch because these days I, I, I was watching a few days ago, I was watching DC Pets for heaven's sake. It was DC Pets. Okay. So I wanted to watch with my daughter. I just noticed a, you would notice it. It's like a 30 second um, flash of two um, lesbian ladies. So we didn't notice it. I went back the next day, I said, I saw something because the dogs were talking and saying, oh, when they have a fiance, they will leave you. So I, was, I, I wasn't sure what I was seeing. So I went back and I saw, it, I, I was scrolling through um, carefully and I saw it was lesbo. So I'm like, you guys, enough now. You can, we can't watch normal Superman harmlessly without having lesbian and gay scenes. So please do your screen. Be patient enough to watch with your children. It's not too much, please. You're not wasting time. If you're not going to be available, safety settings. There's so many apps. Um, there's so many apps for even your Wi-Fi. If you get someone that knows how to, they'll do your, your parental control from behind and you're able to monitor all that. So it's not a big deal. You can do it yourself. There are hide apps. Of course, I've mentioned that. So be sure to check your children's phones and their devices regularly. Monitor online, online activities. There are firewalls. I'm sure your, if you use your laptop um, frequently, there are firewalls. Be patient. I know it's a lot, but be patient. 
now um, there, there's a friend that that did these gps trackers because she tracked her daughter didn't know so she secretly did it so wherever her daughter was going um she could see it from her own phone you know that is how you could do uh screen mirroring like you can see everything the person is seeing so they do that too that, that that's something that your children need to be aware they can about emails attachments links if they click on it every detail on their phone the hacker can see it okay they can see every detail their sms they are, they, there's something called remote controlling so they can from their own device control your daughter's or your phone um that, sorry your children's devices so it's important you let your children know emails with links from strangers no attachments pop-ups no don't open do not open because it can shut the whole family down so your children need to know that is really important watch out for grooming grooming starts with a random stranger telling you how pretty you are grooming is for the intention of eventually making the child go naked on the screen if the child is not within the catfisher or the predator's domain okay they would screen grab record and put these things on on, on porn sites and guess what once it, once it goes there it goes there you know what it means okay so no sharing of nudes for whatsoever reason do not share naked no matter if that person is your boyfriend or whatever because this this is a trick okay this is a trick we know that there are naughty people out there and once it goes is your your child you know god forbid is a person's child that suffers that shame of of, of you know having their pictures and their videos naked so we don't want that for our children language use on social media social media etiquette how do you how do you respond in group chats we need to teach our children you don't lose your manners because you think nobody can see you no you can be caught okay do you remember that we said everything everything is traceable there's something called footprints sorry that means everything is traceable everything can be traced you can't say you you're hiding no okay then next um determine the duration how long should your children do they have time to submit some of us let our children sleep with our devices i did have a problem with a few children okay and the children will always come to class sleeping in class and eventually after a few investigation all i did find is that they always slept with their phones so when the parents you know have gone to bed they will wake up and then they will play fortune at night okay that's a game for the boys for the girls god no god knows you know girls are a bit you know what i mean i don't need to say that if they tell you one thing it might mean another thing maybe there's somebody washing their head somewhere okay so do you actually take those devices off your children screen time affects mental health okay i also like mental health it's one of my my favorite topics um screen time affects mental health it leads to loneliness it leads to depression it leads to i'm not good enough now most children that are online if they if they feel that their friends are having fun without them or they are not invited to any party or this friend is so called rich and has so many clothes and snaps so many pictures you know what i'm talking about the internet influences and they happen to be in that bracket and they are in the same school it's a problem the children start to lose focus they start to think that is real life all right children start to internet what are they doing on the internet you need to know all right you need to know learn about privacy and settings for your children's devices what more i've said it over and over and over i don't think there's anything new here that i, I haven't covered because of time i know some of us want to share some of our experiences let's see um personal information now when, it, when your children are doing um blended learning i always like that the children do not like you can see my my view is plain okay um i like to I, I also like Alicia's view maybe you have books and all that now if your children are online learning keep the view no personal information because hackers can also join in your zoom they can hack into anything and watch what you're doing so make sure there are no family photos and blah 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 take all those things off let it be plain screen or cutting and stuff like that behind that's the background should be plain no personal effects okay if they're doing things online that's that's safe i like this point okay there are safe um browsers that we can use we can use kitopia we can use kidrex these two i plan to um to try out uh this school year all right although my, my children are in secondary so i don't know i i plan to try out this but usually when they are using the computer for internet 
They stay in the sitting room. They stay in the living room. They do not stay in their room. So that, that can be a rule. Whenever you're using the, your devices, you stay in the living room. That's if they are going on internet. If they're playing games and um, watching video, which I know what they are doing, then that's fine. They can stay in the room. But if they are going on internet, they need to be in the sitting room. All right, so that there's an adult at every time tea passing by looking at what is going on because the children think they know but they really do not know so we know right that's the whole idea so as much as possible let there be real life do some cooking do some gardening walk around go on errands those are things children should do move their bodies all right it might be heartbreaking some of them will cry and see and, and shed tears yes i know like my daughter so, but get out there, go do some, go do some um, body shaking. So it's normal, it doesn't kill anybody. We all grew up playing outside with, under the rain. What else? Uh, I, think, I think that's all for now. Do not share or post, share photos online. Okay, so I think we've covered this. Let's see for the sake of time. Um, if something happens, what if your children have been exposed? Now I've talked about prevention, prevention. What if, um, what do you think that mother should do? I told you about the mom who was busy crying in the office because she realized her daughter had just uh, done that transaction and the transaction is 30,000 naira. That's a lot of money for premium subscription for pornography for the whole year. So I don't know. And the lady keeps saying, oh, my daughter is very calm. She's, you know, these children that come from Christian school and they start to, you know, that pretending that happens. So what should you do? God forbid, something happens, um, they've been with friends, they went to a party, there was pornography in the story. What are you going to do? Remain calm, all right? Remain calm, otherwise they won't tell you anything again. So calm down. Reassure your child that you love them. And then of course we start the counseling and the talk and then we get our Bibles out and start to find out what does the scripture say about being naked and watching naked people? Because the Bible says, do not join the multitude to do evil. If you go to the book of Romans chapter one, it talks about even those who don't get the same punishment. So whenever we're talking, I like to open the Bible and show my children, see, you are not of this world. They can do it. You cannot. Are you of the same destiny? You know, you start asking them probing questions, not because you're condemning or you're judging. It's just that next time your children will learn to think. When I find myself in this situation, what should I do? I was talking to my son and I said something about um, when you find yourself in a situation where you are being, um, you know, the conversation is going awry and they're trying to get... Uh, information from you what should you do and they're your mates i said go and tell them you take a leak you go to the restroom he said okay well, mommy when i'm done with the restroom i said you take a walk outside you want to take a stroll you want to go get get some popcorn or something take it just escape from that you want to still maintain your, your your sanity and your christian virtues so what do you do get out of that situation all right so uh, we assure your children we have to be very tactical it's not it's not a a, a kill uh, was it it's not like one one I don't know, like a kill shot situation. No, it's not like that. It's something that you have to be very calculated depending on the kind of child that you have. If you have a strong-willed child, you have to look for a way to use their strengths, okay? Not against them, but get them to use their strength to say no. If you have a child that is easily convinced, you have to keep reassuring the child that you trust them and you know they can make a better decision, all right? Effective communication, that's where it comes in. That's where it comes in. We're talking about consequences. What happens when your nudes go outside? You can't retrieve them. You don't know who has those videos. Like the, the, like the girl, um, the girl that the big school, we all know the girl I'm talking about. I don't want to, I don't want to mention names and all that. Now, uh, the videos are everywhere. How much money? So, so people already, adults have downloaded it. A lot of people have downloaded it. They've saved it. And I'm, 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 as I'm talking to you, I'm sure some people have added it to their porn collection in their personal videos, right? So. Your children need to know the implication, the consequences. Porn affects relationship. It affects your studies. You don't think, all you think is your teacher is also meant for sex. Grown uh, boys and the way they, they look at you, you know where they're traveling to. So of course, as a believer, you kind of get their attention and you rebuke that spirit immediately and take charge of the environment. Eight, or enhance other aspects of your children's life. If they like to do math, if they like to draw, if they like to do some fixing in the house, if they like to cook, you know, there's so many things do they like to draw? Do they creative stuff? So there's so many things our children can do. So yeah, praise God. I'm happy about that. Next is take action. Now, for instance, your child has been bullied, acting them up. Block, delete, report. I use that block future. I use it too. Block, delete, you know, and report as much as you can. If, if there's a police, if there's some form of threat and all that, police, you can get the police involved. Screenshot all the chats and all that while you still block. Okay, so make sure you screenshot all, all the information you need in case there's a threat 
uh, or a situation that is compromised. When school, I noticed something. They go with their devices, all right? I hope you can hear me still. My internet is saying unstable. Okay. So yes, I hope we hear you. Can, you. I think I'm back on. Um, so I know what they can, okay, I know what they can perform. So I, I went to the school. I said, you're telling the children to come with their devices, right? I said, they said, yes. I said, okay. And then your school has Wi-Fi. They said, yes. I said, can I please ask you how often you change the password? And the guy was looking at me like, madam, what do you mean? I said, because my children went to download online games and they were shocked. I'm like, I said, the next thing they come back with a video, video. I said, from where? I, like, do you understand? So even the school have to step up their game. I just, I, I had to give them lectures of stuff to do. You know what? Change the password frequently. As soon as they are done with class, change it. Do you understand? And then when they're done with their devices, call back home with videos from other children. You know, like normal, I'll have a movie. A movie that mommy has not seen should not be watched. You know, that kind of a thing. Like, what are you learning from the story? If there's nothing to, to learn, if I've not watched it, I will delete. If it has compromise, like, I didn't delete that, I right? Of course. So if you are going to do that, take responsibility, collaborate, friends. Ah, do I need to say that again? If their parents are nerds, and have their, in fact, I've seen all sorts in my, in my waking, my kids are here. I don't want to say it. I wish I could send it as a chat, you know, stuff to kind of stimulate you before you do stuff, you know, that kind of a thing. I have never seen it. I saw it for the first time with girls that were not even up to 14. And it was Ann Somers. And so, you know, Ann Somers is kind of an expensive brand for stuff like that. And I'm like, really? I've never in my adult waking life seen stuff like that in my life. I've never. So the children have friends. And those friends would talk. And those friends would, you know, brag about stuff. So you need to know who your kids' friends are, and you need to know who their parents are, and you need to know what they do for a living. You also need to know their value system. Because I tell my children, value system. If they don't have the same values as you, they don't share the same views as you, they can't be your friends. No offense. We are not begging for friends, you know? So things like that, really matter so community world alone so that's why we are here so you look up for me i look up for you i follow your your if your children are more mature than they are on facebook get your mature christian friends to fight that's the whole idea so if you're in there and then you also get somebody that's how we used to grow up remember that's how our parents used to grow up uh, you know used to you know sorry that's how my, our parents grew up that's how they raised us everybody looked out for each other it was community it wasn't my child my child my child no it's our children so that's how it's done um what else uh i think i'm going to get into the put this in the middle so eventually what do we want our children to know simple oh my goodness sorry forgive me everybody i did it i did it i did it have i finished <laughs> thank you I don't know what so happened. much uh, i don't even know what happened i think maybe just internet Lucia, maybe the internet happened? yeah i don't know i think it's just internet maybe okay yeah uh so sure i'm sharing this okay so you double click to enter full screen mode. Sorry, okay, you ended me right. Okay, I thought you were trying to wrap me up. No, that wasn't me. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is so what our kids, yes, what our kids need to remember. So that's simple eight things. Critical, critical thinking for heaven. Don't just go with them. Uh, I don't do that. No, is no, 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 no. Go with okay. Now that you've done this, how does it feel? You know, go, go with probing questions. Like, were you not thinking? Okay, you, were you, what were you thinking? You know, try, try, try those kind of questions and make them feel not exactly guilty, but you're making them learn to think. Will this hurt me in the next five years? Will this harm my family? Is this necessary? What I'm doing now, is this necessary? Get your children to ask themselves reflective questions, okay? Talk about creativity. 
can I, I can do without my devices. I can enhance other skills. I can write. I can, yes, there's so many things that um, the, the device helps us to do. So are they enhancing those things? Digital foot, footprint. I am accountable for my words, my photos, my videos. I must leave reputable footprints. Shopping the internet. I must use kid-friendly and safe site only. I hope I did not forget that. Now, there's this thing that how to teach your children to do safe search. Now, there's this lock that looks like a padlock. Every time you, you're surfing the net. And how many of us have noticed it? Show of hands, quickly. Use your virtual hand feature. Let me see. Quickly, everybody. Virtual hands up. I hope we can use that feature. <laughs> everybody, are they sleeping? Is everybody sleeping? Am I that boring? Okay, thank you. MM phone, thank you. You are the first. Yes, 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 good. So there's that icon. The rest of everybody has gone quiet. Where, is, where are they? Okay, I've been talking too much. I'll give you assignment very soon. All right, thank you. So there's this padlock future. So you make sure that the children watch out for that padlock future. And then the site that they're going to is HTTPS. The S have got to be there. Okay, so that's um, some of the, the, the surfing, the internet rule. So if there's no tick sign, depends on the, the browser that you're using. If you're using Google Chrome or if you're using the Edge, there's usually this tick sign that's, um, that which shows you it's a safe site. So teach your children that. That is, if you're doing your research online, go for tick sign where there's a tick blue sign by the side, all right? Depending on the, on the browser and the safe lock, HTTPS. So those are some of the things that they must remember. E-safety, I might know secrets from parents. So these are things that etiquette online and offline. So the online world does not mean I hide away and do stuff that will embarrass my family. So stuff like that, social understanding, let them understand the implication. Okay, then trust. My parents trust I make the best decisions at all times, even online. So those are things you tell them over, I trust you. I know you're capable of making the right decision. So those are things we, we say, we are firm. And before you know it, they start to act it. They start to you know, behave that. Real life, real life matters. They must stay mentally healthy. They must stay physically healthy and socially healthy. They mustn't abandon their real life friends for online world. All right, so I think, I uh, hope, I think that's the last. Thank you for listening to me, Ratu. Praise God, I have strength. I'm surprised. I thought I would have, um, I don't know, but praise God. So I'm done. There's grace in this place. Hallelujah. There's grace here. <laughs> There's grace here. So if you came in, praise not feeling God. well, God's grace covers everything. Wow, Amen. thank you so, 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 so much. I mean, I don't know if anybody has any questions and all of that. If you do have reflection, experiences, I think I have a question. You want to share? You have a question, okay. okay. I have a question for everybody, okay? okay. Share right. three loopholes you have um, so far and what you're going to do. So let's just do that while I catch my breath. Let's do that in the next five minutes. I want you to go okay. to the chat future. Mm -hmm. Three loopholes that you've noticed from our discussion. I, it's not exhaustive. I didn't, I, didn't go so, I didn't go so deep. There's so many things to talk about, but you know, we are constrained for time and, and all that. So tell me three, three things that you have done wrongly. And you're just like, you know what? I'm going to sit up on these three things and this is what I'm going to do. So let, let, let's talk. Let's go to the chat future and talk. I'll read everybody's chats patiently. Thank you too. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you. And I'm happy that um, was a blessing. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for us. Share three things that you're going to sit up on. Do your children use them? Um, do your children use uh, uh, devices? <laughs> they would. <laughs> you're an adult now. They may not. They may not worry about your about you. But for your children, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let's let's share everybody. Let's get to the let's get. Yeah, to the... I think I have one here that was sent to me. I think accidentally um, okay. as a direct message. I need to get yeah. filters on my kids' devices and watch movies before they watch. Absolutely, okay. there's a lot of crazy things out there. Yes, please use filters. Oh, that's true. Apps. There's so many apps that we can get ourselves equipped. You know, equipped with and all that. Thank you for saying that. 
I'm waiting. Let's keep sending. What 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 are you, what have you learned? Three most important things that you've learned and what you're going to do. Yes, the webcam is real. That stuff freaked me out. So we had to. I, I can even tell her to bring her laptop now. It's completely taped over. Okay, we use this paper tape so that no no yes no access to her. That teenager's phone. You've got to have access. That, you know, I, I I wrote something here. Privacy for kids is overrated. Don't believe that lie. You get into your children's business. They can't be under your roof and you're paying all the bills and you don't know what's happening in their lives. That's an error. I keep telling my son, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen anywhere. Nobody pays, pays your bills and you're hiding stuff under my roof. You know, <laughs> don't mind me, my evil accent. It doesn't work anywhere. So there is nothing like privacy. There's nothing like privacy. Children are having private. No, if you're going to use your device, and you're going on the internet, you stay in the sitting room. When you're done, when you're going to your room, you submit your device. It's as simple as that. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know that. <laughs> that has exactly. Hmm. Okay, so good. The hidden apps. Yes, please click on every app, check what is happening. Snapchat is very dangerous, very dangerous, very, very dangerous because they can communicate with people that are around them. I don't, I don't like Snapchat. I, you know, when I saw the, when I saw the stuff that children, um, that the fact that they can network with people around them, I, I'm like, why, what for? Why should I, you be exposed to children? You know, other people, adults, and anybody using Snapchat, any phone around you, that, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, thank you. Good. That's a smart one too. Uh, that's a smart one, but also remember that there's, um, they can turn on secret mode too for, for searching. So you need to be hands on and um, hopefully, you know, like those simple rules, submit your phone and stuff like that. It's important. Now, yeah, the group chats, every one of them can communicate with each other. They can, excuse me, if there's a group chat, a WhatsApp group chat, they can communicate with each other. They all have each, other, each other's phones. And as I said, if, you, if there's a status, uh, your, your children put up status, if there's a status they don't want you to see, they can actually block you from that particular status and then move on. So what you're seeing is not really all that they are sharing. So, mm -hmm. okay, so great. I'm happy. Cartoons are, are, are the worst right now. Cartoons are the worst. Very few, very few are sane. As I said, I, I was just watching this latest DC Pets and I saw that particular scene it just came like a flash and you wouldn't notice. So they're also grooming the children for lesbianism. They're grooming them, you know, they're grooming them. You know, oh, it doesn't really matter. That, that's the desensitization. Desensitization, that's what's happening. So thank you so much. I'm happy reading everybody's response. Thank you so much. Um, if, if, there are, if there are questions, um, We'll take it together. Some of us might even respond. Reduce screen time. Yes, get on more hands-on activity. There's Lego. We play chess sometimes, but because I've been a bit, well, hopefully I'll play more chess with, with my little one as well. Uh, so there's, there's so many things here. to do. OK, OK. So some of our children are in school. Guys, regarding monitoring. Hmm. Uh -huh. This one is a tough one because that child too was coming from um, a, boarding, a boarding school. I don't know, that's a tough one. You need to walk, check out what the PTA, the policies are. You need to call the school and ask them what their online policies are. How often, you know, how often do they go online? When do they use it? Are there, there's something called the whole school policy for safeguarding, like online safety. So you need to ask the school if they have online safety policies for children while they are there in the boarding school. This, many Nigerian schools do not, I don't know, do not have that, they don't have that tech advance. Many of them are still a bit laid back. So you maybe they want to, you know, bring that on board. So please make that phone call just before school starts go to the school, visit them, be on their necks and say, what's your online policy like? What's the safety like? What's the safety, online safety like? Just get familiar. And then if they, if they say, oh, the children do not have access to these at certain times and some basic rules. Most important, teach your child at home. Teach your child at home. 
even if mommy is not watching, whatever you do is important. And you know, what do you recommend for mobile devices? There are antiviruses for mobile devices. All right, there are antiviruses. As I said, this forward facing camera is dangerous. Some of those games, some of those games that the children play, they have AI and can be monitored. Okay, there's there's this Tomcat. I heard about Tom that Tomcat thing, the, and, and Angelina, the one that's kind of talks after you. Those have um, AI technology. So the eye that is actually looking at the child when they go online, it's not really real. It's like somebody is watching behind. So it's really scary stuff. Um, on, yes, outdoor activities would be better. For phones, you can do key. There's kid setting. Go to the setting of your phone. You can actually monitor if the, your child goes online with Google setting, you can also do that. And there is a way to, I, I've forgotten how to, I used to know how to, there's a way to copy everything your child is doing on your phone. That's everything your child is doing on his or her phone, you are mirroring it. So you may need to research on how to do that. You can do it with your Android. You can actually mirror everything, everything that he or she's doing on his or her phone, you can see it from your own phone. Yes, this is how smart these phones that we carry are. There's something I, I, I forgot, and I used to know a few years ago, I used to know how to actually do it. And you can, you know, mirror what that person is doing. You can completely follow. So basic thing, do your antiviruses for your mobile phones. Uh, do your, um, check your settings, phone settings. Check the, the um, internet settings. If your child has to go, but do the children really have to go on the internet on phones? Do they really need to? So those are things that we need to know. Please let, let's get it. Let's get this thing sorted out. So block access from router. That's a smart one. Google Family Link. Yes, please. I do that. So Covenant Eyes. There's so many of them. I think I shared one. I'm not sure. I think there's one on the slide that can help you. I think it's Net Nanny or something. Nanny Net or Net Nanny. I think it's called Net Nanny. It can help you with online. So once it's rated, once the sites are rated 18, your child cannot cannot go online, cannot access that site. So you can also do that from your internet, your internet setting, your Wi-Fi provider. You can do that setting, protect young eyes. Yes, that's beautiful. There's protect young, there's so many of them. So you can use your, your home Wi-Fi. Your home Wi-Fi can be, um, you can use that setting. There's a, there's a setting for home Wi-Fi, okay? So, but for me, because I use um, the normal, uh, Inter, um, what's it called now, phone provider for my children. So when I'm browsing, they're browsing if they need to. So I check, all right? I check they must stay in the sitting room if they are doing internet related researches. Otherwise, if they're playing games, I don't really um, bother much or they're, yeah, they're playing games, they're writing, they're doing, doing their schoolwork offline. I don't worry. But if they're online, they have to be seated in the sitting room. Do not let them take internet to their personal, you know, to their personal space. No, it doesn't happen. So those are small, smart ideas. Let them submit their phones. Actually make them submit phones. Submit phones, my children submit their laptops. You submit it because they don't know if I'm going to come up. And I, and I always do that spot check and I will check through everything, okay? Everything that they've been doing. I may not have time all the, um, have all the time, like every week, but I do that from time to time, sit down, Check their in check their phones. Check and um, okay, they don't have phones. They take check their um, laptops. My own kids, no phones. I'm not calling anybody. No. Okay. So the only phone that they have is the one that does not have internet access. You know those touch light phone. That's the only home phone that our son uses to call. Oh, <laughs> we call. That's it. But no smartphone for anybody. Mm -mm. So even as a gift, it can be toxic. I don't like it. I don't appreciate that. So when they're done with school, we can talk about um, phones and all that. But right now, they don't need it. That's, that's, that's my own home. They can use their laptops to do their research. OK, so what do you recommend? OK, so I think I've answered that. If, there, if there's anybody that has any contributions, so I, I can stop talking at this juncture. Thank you, everybody. Wow, thank you so, so much. I don't know if everybody has had their questions answer do you have any other thing you want to ask i mean before she goes now <laughs> ask away ask away ask away but i mean in the meantime this has been so impactful so helpful i mean i think that the bottom line is you just have to be more intentional like parenting is mm -hmm. not a walk in the park like you can just 
sleep and wake up and say I'm parenting because they're mm-hmm. in your house. They are giving them money and food. Right? Okay, Saha, sorry about that. Okay, good a age. good age to give them a phone. Okay. It depends on the child's maturity. As I said, <laughs> the children are different. Every child, there are some that are, as I said, that some are more strong-willed than the others. They'll start telling you the rules. I know I have them. <laughs> some will start changing the rules. Some will, you know, they are... It depends on the child you have. If you have a child that is more compliant, okay, yes, we'll trust them, you know, but we still give that small margin where they be human beings and we still forgive, right? We forgive, we bring them back, but we still give them the discipline that comes with defaulting. Um, Good age, please use your discretion. If they don't need it, they don't need it. If they need it, need is, I don't know. If If they have laptops that they use, why phone? Mm. So it depends on you. I don't know where you are. I don't know the space. I can't give hard and fast rule. It would be unfair of me if I say don't use. But for my children, I can do the dropping, pick off. So I, I, I can, I, what are you using? So I, for me, I, they don't have need. They just use that touch phone. Mommy, uh, where are you? I'm going to market. You know, the stuff like that. We can do <laughs> home runs. So use your discretion. Pray over it. If your child is more compliant, if they will listen, if they are getting addicted, pull it off, you know. So use your discretion. I won't say this, this, this. I won't. Thank you so much. Yeah, like you said, I think it depends on the child, mm-hmm. their compliance level. Some children are easily, easily um, influenced, right? Mm-hmm. So you have to look at a lot of factors for your child. There's so many things. 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 And you know what? Later is always better. Mm-hmm. Later is always better. Uh, if you can help it, it's always better. And if you want to give them phones, let it be such that they can only communicate. For example, no data maybe on the phone. Um, mm-hmm. You can only use Wi-Fi when you're home. I mean, those little things like that, if they don't need it. Uh, I think it's, it's just better in the long run for everybody uh, because there's a lot, of, a lot of madness in the world. I mean, think of us as adults. Go on Instagram and see something. Like, ah, what's this thing doing here? Now, <laughs> now imagine your child being the one exposed to that kind. How would they manage it? Right, how would they manage all those things? So there's a lot out there that if you just help us, if you just, I mean, you can delay, let's just delay, like as much as we can, um, mm-hmm. and all of that. Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Ekuma, I mean, for just sharing your heart with us. Thank you. Um, thank and I just you. pray for you. I got strength in you, you know. Your healing is yes. complete. You're made whole yes. by God's, by God's um, power and strength in the name yes. of Jesus. Amen, amen. Before we go, people, let's pray for Dr. Ekuma. Um, I just say a word of prayer over her. Let's thank God for her life. That the, the enemy cannot have a way over this life. It's not possible. Amen. Let's just declare that God's, God's hand is upon her. He keeps her, you know, watches over her. Uh, all that concerns her family, her home. The Lord strengthens her. The work that she's doing in the lives of young people across the world, that God himself, will, you know, will, will look at that and give her a, a huge reward for all that she's doing across the world, you know, being a blessing in different areas. That God will strengthen her. He will keep her. What is her own? God will keep in the name of Jesus. And you know, when it comes to our own children and our own family, that she will not regret over them. The enemy will not laugh her to scorn in the name of Jesus. God will strengthen her and he will continue to make her, you know, and her family and a great, a great example across, you know, across their own sphere of influence. They continue to be people that, you know, other, others can look up to in all that they do in the name of Jesus. You pray for her, that the Lord will bless her and reward her for every labor of love that she continues to sow in the lives of people around the world in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know for sure that your hand is upon your daughter and you continue to strengthen her on every side in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, everyone or being a part of this series from the beginning of August up until now. I mean, it's been an amazing time. And of course, we know already for um, for sure that we're starting off our marriage and parenting series from September all the way to November. All right, so if you have not yet signed up, I don't know if anybody can put it. Put it I think I have it somewhere on my computer as well. I'll just grab that link. Um, just go ahead and sign up to join the Flourish series. We're starting off on the week of September 5 is when we do our orientation. So get right in there, sign up for the study series. I mean, you're gonna find access to some free, everybody's gonna be able to have access to things. Some part of the study you may need to pay for, like the extra courses and everything. But I mean, 
the basic of the study you're going to be a part of, it's, it's free, so anybody can come. There's no excuse. Please go ahead and sign up for the marriage and parenting series that is starting off uh, in the few, in maybe about two weeks from now, or maybe 10 days from now. Get in there, start up, sign up, invite another person to join, and let's just keep our homes flourishing, um, you know, as God wills and as God wants and desires for us. And of course, we're still praying to the end of the end of the month. Keep your eyes on your emails. Keep your eyes on the WhatsApp group. We're going to be sharing more information about the study as we go forward. All right. God bless you. And we'll see you again in a few weeks. I mean, two weeks exactly from today. We'll see you for the Orientation Study from for Flourish Study Series. And we cannot wait to get started for that brand new series. All right, everyone. God bless you. Tomorrow, yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. I know that the Juno University team <laughs> is hosting a mental health wellness program for your teenagers. So if you have a teenager, you definitely want them to come in there and be a part of the study series. I think, is, this, is, is it the same Zoom link? Uh, please confirm, uh, let me know. Is it the same Zoom link that they're gonna come on to for that study? Please just confirm, let me know. Same Zoom link. So tomorrow at um, 7 p.m. Nigerian time, am I right? Just come in here, 12 noon mountain, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., oh, sorry about that. 11 a.m. mountain time, 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Um, so please come in there, bring your teenagers, invite them to come in. And we're going to talk about mental, mental wellness for teenagers as they go back to school. It's important, okay? There's a lot of, of things that going around the world. They need to be fortified, you know, in their emotions, in their wellness, in their mental health, and all of those things. So bring them on, let them be a part of the study. Um, for tomorrow, we'll have a guest speaker who's coming to speak to them, who is a certified expert in that field. Bring them on and let them be a part of the series tomorrow. God bless you, everyone. Take care. We'll see you by God's grace very, very soon. Have a good night. Take care or have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Depends on where you are. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.